Hello everybody, Sunday Rewalt High School will induct 11 people into its Athletic Hall of Fame. One of the inductees is former Pressy Lady Trojans head coach Sheila Penny. Her resume speaks for itself, but her road to the school's Hall of Fame is one only a champion could endure. I developed my love for basketball probably at about eight years old. Mm -hmm. Sheila Penny grew up on the north side of Jacksonville and found her love for basketball while playing with her brothers. Cut in middle school, she worked and developed into one of the best prep basketball players here on our first coast. And I went from the kid that was cut to the kid that averaged over 20 points a game. Years later, she became a coach. She coached AAU, middle school, and junior varsity at Reball. In 2004, the legendary Al Austin retired. The school offered her the job, and for weeks, she labored over whether to take it. I was too afraid to take the job. The resume was something I've never seen. Coach Austin won eight state titles, had a 101 game winning streak, and won more than 92% of his games during his 26 year run. I just felt it was too much pressure um, to walk in his shoes or to be the person to be his successor would be extremely difficult. Coach Pinnock finally said yes. I didn't believe in myself initially, but once I took the job, I took some of the things that he taught me and instilled in me, and I used them in my own way. The early years were tough. It was hard because it was just hard for the community, Trojan Nation, to accept the change. So, of course, initially I was compared a lot. What were people saying? I'm not good enough. I'm a woman. I'm not a Trojan. Even when the team had success. When we got there and we came in second place, they said that's the best I would ever do. And the people that were saying it were people that wore light blue. They were real Trojans, so it was hurtful. But after the tears that I did in the dark, I came back out and I kept saying, when we work hard enough, we will be able to achieve more. We just need to work. Coach Pinnock says she put Coach Austin's resume in her locker, never to compare herself to him or even measure herself by him, but as a reminder of why expectations in Trojan land were so high. It made me thrive for excellence, so I have no grudges about it. Initially, it was hard and difficult, but in the end, it built me into the woman I am today, and I'm thankful for that. In our 13 seasons at Reball, Coach Pinnock won four state titles and a national title, but she says her finest accomplishment was the relationship she built with her players off the court. So because I was a former athlete, I know what it, it felt like to have a coach who truly cared. I know what it felt like to have a coach that go beyond the call of duty. And I just made up my mind that I was going to do that for my players because I truly knew that they needed it. Coach Penning told me she found out that she was selected to be a member of the Reball Athletic Hall of Fame on Facebook. The Athletic Hall of Fame ceremony is this Sunday at 4 o'clock.